From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A quick reminder, tomorrow is my first official live chat. It's taking place tomorrow, May 6, 3 p.m. Central Time, that's 4 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Mountain, or 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a Q&A, I'll do a live read of a Weird Darkness story, and everyone who joins the chat live can download my stand-up comedy album, Truth or Darren, for free. It'll only be available during the live chat, though, and once the chat is over, the link I share during the live broadcast will be changed and will no longer work. So tune in live or you miss out entirely. It's happening tomorrow and I hope you can join me. Apparently, many Americans experience supreme difficulty deciding between Applebee's or IHOP. Now, fortunately, Detroit has a solution. The first ever combination IHOP slash Applebee's restaurant is opening later this year. Okay, so, all right, so what do we call this? Apple Hop? No, 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 no. Even, even better, I Hopplebees. Scientists have found a way to create tissue by 3D printing embryonic stem cells. Hey, Larry, could you run over to Staples and get some embryonic stem cell cartridges for the 3D printer? Research shows people who swear more have bigger vocabularies than those who opt for an expletive free life. In fact, those who were more confident using swear words were also more articulate in other areas of language use. But ironically, their expanded vocabulary only included words with four letters. The Marlar House store has just been updated. You can find t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, tumblers, audiobooks, and more all on one page. Check it out at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. When you take Tylenol, the main ingredient is acetaminophen, and it does more than relieve your pain. The popular medication also reduces your empathy. That's how much you're able to understand the physical and social pain and suffering that others feel. Not that I give a care. Brad Pitt says he has been alcohol-free for six months now. Am I wrong to interpret that as requiring lots of alcohol to stay married to Angelina Jolie? Doctors have always assumed that both human ears were basically the same, but a UCLA study of babies may change a lot of assumptions about the way the brain works, because it found that the right ear is better at picking up speech-like sounds while the left ear is better at processing music. All right, so, so if one ear is for talking and the other is for music, what ear does rap go into? An Australian family managed to save the life of a lizard they found at the bottom of their pool by performing CPR on it. As a thank you, the lizard is saving them 15% or more on car insurance. Have you signed up for the Marlar Sheet? It's free, and everybody who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. For May 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo, and you can sign up for the Marlar Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. American Airlines is planning to decrease the front-to-back space between some of its economy class seats by another two inches. Okay, now won't that make it much more of a tight squeeze when you pummel somebody with a baby stroller and drag them off the plane? A woman in Georgia walked into her apartment's bathroom and found a python slithering up the wall. Gwendolyn Howard says she called the apartment complex for help. They told her to file a work order. What? This isn't a leaky faucet, I have a python climbing up the wall! Twitter lit up with support for the Minnesota teen that didn't have a date for the prom, so she took her acceptance letter to Harvard as her date. Say, now, I wish these supportive people had been around when I went to my prom with my copy of The Hobbit. Most people don't know that back in 1912, Hellman's mayonnaise was manufactured in England. In fact, the Titanic was carrying 12,000 jars of the condiment scheduled for delivery in Veracruz, Mexico, which was to be the next port of call for the great ship after New York. Well, the people of Mexico who were crazy about the stuff were eagerly awaiting delivery and were almost inconsolable at the loss of the mayonnaise. So much so, in fact, they declared a national day of mourning, which they still observe today. It's known, of course, as Cinco de Mayo. Okay, that's that's not actual news, but hey, it's a comedy show. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please do me a favor, share this video with your friends. I'd appreciate it. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.